Hello, this is Mr. Horseman, and today I'd like to show you how to play multiplayer games with the PPSSPP PSP emulator on your uh, Android devices or PC or whatever device. I'm not sure if it works with Apple, but they do have this Zero Tier app in the App Store too. So if you try it and get it to work, let me know. Anyway, let's uh, go into ZeroTier.com on your device, whatever your device is, PC or uh, Android. In my case, I'll be going to the website in my PC, and uh, you want to uh, sign up and log in, of course. I've already did that. I'm already in my, my ZeroTier.com page. And you also want to install the ZeroTier app or program in the download page or if you're on Android you, you can download it on the uh, Play Store if you're in uh, Apple you can download it in the, the iOS App Store too anyway I've done that on all my devices I'm just gonna go through uh, my page here you want to create a network yes don't care about that lazy man and uh, we got a random name network created for us, distracted lake collider, whatever. You want to remember this network ID. You can even copy it for your PPSS PP emulator later if you care. And uh, the next thing you want to do, you want to go into that application on your, whatever your device is. So I'm going to switch to my Android devices. I'll be testing on my tablet PC and my Android phone. So let's go into my Android devices here. Open up the Zero Tier 1 apps. Alright. And uh, click App Network on both devices. Let's see. Network ID was... Ah, I hate doing this. 93AF. Alright. I'm done typing them in both my devices. Let's uh, add Networks. And it's gonna say unknown. Let's first uh, attempt to connect to the network, even though it is unknown yet. And then it will still be unknown, because uh, we have not authorized it in our zero tier my page. So uh, let's get into that network that we created back in the website. And then if you look down here, where is it? There should be a couple of. Uh, uh, request to connect to the network. You want to authorize them by checking the marks, checking the boxes, and then now you should be able to get into the network on both of your devices. Yes, I'm in. Distracted leak lighter on both my tablet PC and my Android phone. Now let's uh, get inside them by clicking them. And you'll see that the uh, under Managed IPs, there's the uh, virtual IP address Zero Tier has assigned for you. One one of them ends with uh, 211 and the other one ends with 248. Okay, and then uh, you have to decide uh, which one, which IP to use for your PPSSPP. You, sh you should only pick one of them. You can't use both of them because uh, uh, you will get into different networks then. You have to pick one of them, hopefully, or preferably, one that has a more stable network. And then, you want to put that network into your PPSS PP ad hoc, uh, ad hoc server. So, well, let's get into PPSS PP now. Click Home button, one by one. I'm going to start with my, my phone first. Under Network Settings, Change Pro Ad Hoc Server IP Address. Yeah, I want to change this. By the way, I updated my PPSS PP to the latest version. Okay, delete all. That works. And we want to put in that IP address. All right, I'm done typing both of the addresses in my in both my devices. Now remember, if it is not checked yet, you want to check that enable built-in pro ad hoc server box right above where we entered our address. And uh, let's see what else. Yeah, you gotta check the enable networking 
slash WLAN2. You need that to uh, connect to online lobbies. And the rest, I just uh, want to leave them at default, maybe except that port offset. I put it at 5000 because I'm gonna need to put it at 5000 for Tekken 6, but uh, for some games it can be a different value. Like for Monster Hunter, it, you, you just have to leave it at zero and it works perfectly. Anyway, we're done setting up here, let's go into the games now. Let's test out the games now. And since we put that port offset at as 5000, I'm gonna start testing with Tekken right away. Okay, I made a safe state. Let's get into the safe state, save some time. And then get into the battle lobby right away. And then give it a few seconds. Network initialized. Do I get to see the other player? Yes, I can. Well, it is not the end of the day. We have to uh, keep checking it. Let's uh, use my first device to challenge the other device. And the other device is going to accept the challenge. Uh, where is it? Next. Click Next. Do I get into the uh, loading screen? Yes. You can see it's almost 90% uh, success at this stage. If you put the, uh, the port offset with zero or some other value, I don't know, you won't get into this uh, stage at all. You just uh, get, keep get disconnected from each other. Oh no, it's why is it taking so long to sync? I think it must be the uh, zero tier server or something. By the way, I'm testing uh, this with my Wi-Fi on my uh, tablet PC and for my phone, it's on my uh, LTE connection, 4G. So, uh, so there you there you go. You you can play with uh, mobile data and your Wi-Fi connection. Anyone can play with each. Uh, anyone you don't have to be in the same Wi-Fi or anything like that so that's cool and looks like uh, Tekken is working flawlessly although there will be lags a lot because well you know it is a virtual private network there will be lags especially if you're like uh, on, the, on the other side of the earth you know physical distance anyway let's uh, try test another game now we're done with Tekken. But before doing that, yeah, let's uh, change that pork offset back to zero. This time I'll be trying the uh, Monster Hunter. Let's go uh, with Freedom Unite. Why not? Because I already made the uh, save states for them. Save state, save state, and then get into the lobby. Fast enough. Oh, yeah, I gotta press circle in, in the Asian version. The circle is the confirm. It always confuses me. Alright. Looks like both of us are in. Let's uh, test, uh, put on a quest here. See if we can really get into the game. Because sometimes you can get into the lobby and you can see each other, but you you can't uh, make it into the real quest. You get disconnected while while you are loading the game. So we gotta get into the game first. Alright, check the quest board here. Spam circle buttons, not X buttons. Square here, get ready. Alright, we're all ready, let's go. Many times if you have not set everything properly, you might get disconnected here, but looks like I wasn't. I didn't. We're both in the quest and we can move around, both of us, apparently. And let's do the lag test too. Kick this guy. See how fast he responds. 
you see there's a bit of lag. It takes uh, like a half second for for me to notice the other guy's uh, hurting animation or whatever. And that's it for uh, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Let's test another game then. All right, we're here. And for Patamon 3, you want to uh, place your port offset as 500 on both your devices. I've already done that. So let's get into the game now. You want to invite the other guy to the hero gate. Invite to here. Ad hoc mode. If you put some uh, other port offset like 5000 or 0, it's not going to work. I don't know if any other ports work with this. Anyway, I know 500 works. And uh, done inviting that guy. Let's get into this uh, with the other device. Two other hideout. Ad hoc mode. And we should see... There we go. Chris's hideout. Must be the name of the guy... The guy's... Uh, the, the original owner of these save files. Owner. Okay, we're in. Now let's see if we can get into the game. Uh, maybe I should let the owner pick the quest. I don't know how this game works. To be honest. I just know how to get into the game. Oh no. There we go. Just pick any quest here. Yeah, both of us are here. Uh, deploy, yes. Okay to deploy. And the other guy too. Go to Master Obelisk. Deploy. Okay. Please let me get into the game. Please, game. We get the loading screen. Hopefully we can get into the game. Please, push any button. And there we go. We got into the game. Although I'm not going to play it. I don't know how to play this game. But uh, I got some requests for this game. Uh, in the... In the... Uh, some time ago. So that's why I decided to test this game too in this video. Player is viewing event. Anyway, we we know that this game works with zero tier two. Now let's move on to the next game. All right. So I was trying to get some of the other games to work with this method, like the Warriors and the Grand Theft Auto, and Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, uh, but to no avail. I got no luck. I was trying, I was messing around with the port offsets and UPnP settings, but no, not right now. Maybe, no guarantee, but maybe I'll come up with an update on getting those games to work in a future video. But for now, that's it for me. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and a lot of times, uh, when you get an error, like, uh, what what kind of error was that? You you can't get into the lobby or something like that. Some uh, some weird errors. You get into the errors. You you want to make sure you have that virtual IP address assigned by zero tier on both of your devices, not just one. You have to have that address starting with one seventy two or whatever in your. I'll, I'll just show you here. Why not in your zero tier. You you should see that manage IP under manage IP you should have that address or or else it's not gonna work. Double check that by uh, reconnecting to zero tier or you know even making a whole new network. You gotta keep trying until it works. Most of the time that is the problem. And uh, if you still get that kind of trouble, maybe I don't know. It, it's not. Uh, it doesn't work with your network or, you know, compatibility issues. I don't know. It, there are many devices, many Android devices. For example, uh, Amazon Kindle is, uh, it has a built-in VPN or something like that. I'm not sure it's not going to work or something like that, you know? Anyway, you got to keep trying. got to keep closing every applications and 
and closing all, uh, disconnecting the networks and reconnecting them and opening everything back up. You gotta try over and over until it works. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's it for me. Have a wonderful day. Let me know if you got any questions. Adios.